In today's video, I wanted to kind of expand a little bit on the Spectre WM configuration that I made the last video about. And I want to do that today by implementing a simple wallpaper changer. It's going to be ridiculously simple, and I'm going to actually set it to a key, set my script to a key binding, so I can actually use my control B to shuffle my wallpaper, my wallpapers around, and set a random one in my wallpapers directory as the wallpaper in Spectre WM. And this right here would actually work on several different window managers. It, just about anything that could use Fe to set the background. Let's get started. So here we are in our terminal, and I have this set to windowed mode right now because I didn't want it full screen, because we're gonna be changing wallpapers a lot. In my spectrewm.conf file, I have a script set to auto run in my that, that's in my path so it will actually just draw the wallpaper that i have assigned to it so let me show you that script real quick and how it's implemented into spectrewm.conf so if we cd into user local bin run an ls you see i have a script in here called fabg and all that does let's cat that out it's one line. It runs fe dash dash bg scale on home user dot config wallpaper dot png because I I placed an image in my dot config file and named it wallpaper dot png and that is actually the background that you see here. So let's go back to our home folder and let's go to it's vim.spectrewm.conf. And in my auto run section, you'll see here that I have auto run set for you know, equal WS1 FabBG. And it doesn't really matter which workspace, you can do it WS20 as long as that workspace is enabled and it will still work. When every time I log into Spectre WM, FabBG will run and set my wallpaper. But I want to kind of expand on that and create a wallpaper changer. And it's kind of a shuffler, rather. So let's get out of SpectreWM.conf and let's clear the screen. And what I want to do now is write another script that will set the wallpaper. So let's Let's vim wall. Go into insert mode, bin slash sh. And first, we need to define a directory for our wallpapers. So I'm going to say dir for directory equals, I'm going to put it in quotes, slash home slash user. Or I could just put Mike, but I'm going to put dollar user because I'm probably going to put this up on my GitHub page, and if somebody wants it, they can use it right on, right on. So home slash dollar user slash pictures slash wallpapers. Then I want to set another variable. Let's say wall equals. Let's put this in quotes as well, and it's going to be the output of a command. So that's going to be my variable, and that's going to do ls of our directory every.png. We're going to pipe that through shuff to shuffle them all around and only take the first one. Then what I want to do is actually is take the output of that and replace the wallpaper in my dot config file. So let's do cat dollar wall into with one chevron. That way it will just override it and not append it to it. So we're going to cat dollar wall into home slash we're just going to do slash home slash 
user slash dot config slash wallpaper dot png. Then we're going to do the last line of our initial script that sets the wallpaper. So that's fe dash dash vg dash scale home user dot config slash wallpaper dot png. And that's really it. You can actually pretty much write this on what three lines. So we're going to write and quit. Then we're going to change mode or wall to make it executable. So let's chmod plus x wall. Now we're going to try it out. Dot slash wall. I had a typo. So let's try it again. And it changed our background. So now what I want to do is move this to our path. So let's so it's sudo mv wall to user local bin. Let's clear the screen and just type in wall. All right, well, that works pretty beautifully. Let's now let's set it to a key binding in our config file. Let's do vim.spectrewm.conf and let's just hit page down because I actually already have the lines here for wallpaper changer. So I just need to, so I have program wallpaper changer set equal to something. So let's go into insert mode. We're going to set it equal to wall because that was the name of our script that we put in the path. So when we run this wall, we're going to have, when we run the program wall, it is going to be bound to mod plus control plus B. Now you can set it to really anything you want, but this is just what I chose. So all we, get, all we need to do now, colon W is colon WQ. Actually, we don't even we don't even need to quit. Then refresh Spectre WM mod control B. So essentially what we've done here is create a wallpaper shuffler in one script. But we have essentially used Fab BG in our auto run as kind of a pseudo nitrogen dash dash restore because this fabg looks in config.wallpaper and what wall does it replaces slash config.wallpaper or slash dot config slash wallpaper dot png with a random one from the wallpapers directory yeah this is a really really simple way to do you know to do that and like i said this would this would work on several different window managers just about any window manager that you can use fair to set the background with you can use this script with it's a very it's a very simple script that's really easy to implement and easy to set to easy to set to a key binding which i do know that in different window managers it's going to be a different syntax or a different whatever to set that key binding. So if you're looking at let's so let's say in I3 you would do bind sim uh mod plus control plus B or whatever you decide and you know bind sim that to the program name. And truthfully you would probably have to set the complete path. I'm not a hundred percent sure I haven't run I3 in a long time and I haven't I've never tried to set a script to a key binding in i3, but I'm sure it would work. So that's about all I've got for this one. I just kind of wanted to show off a very simple wallpaper changer script for a tiling window manager. And, you know, I'm using Spectre WM in this one, but actually it would most definitely work in 
just about any tiling window manager that can use fa to set the background. So anyway, thank you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. Y'all have a nice day.